look to our precious Jesus today who saves, heals, delivers, prospers, and blesses. This is your day for a miracle. Recently, Pastor Benny Hinn was invited to minister at a conference conducted by Prophet Brian Carn in Charlotte, North Carolina, and an anointing for healing fell upon the capacity audience in a powerful way. He was wounded for our transgressions, bruised for our iniquities, chastised for our peace. With his stripes we are healed. Heal your people, I pray right now. I step into my office and I command every disease to go. I command every spirit of infirmity to go. I command every sickness to go. In the name of Jesus. In the name of of Jesus in the name of Jesus lift your hands right now receive your healing there's miracles happening all over this building begin to pray all of you everywhere out loud in the spirit you're Jesus you're glorious Preparing us, your temple. On today's program, you'll experience the testimonies of physical miracles which followed Pastor Benny's prayer for the sick and the amazingly accurate words of knowledge which followed. As you watch the evidence of Jesus' healing power in Charlotte, release your faith in preparation for Pastor Benny's prayer for you later in the program. If you can believe, you can receive, because this is your day for a miracle. Upon our praise, let the hand that saw you raise clothe us in your glory, draw us by your grace. Keep praying, saints. Oh, the glory of your presence. We are temple. Give your reverence. So rise to your rest and be blessed by our praise as we glory in your embrace as your presence now fills this place. Oh, the glory. Somebody's just been healed to my left of a tumor that's gone. Arthritis is gone. Diabetes is gone. Heart disease, it's gone. Somebody up on the balcony, a skin condition, gone. Somebody's jaw healed completely. Keep praying. Keep praying. That anointing is flowing. Somebody's ears just popped open. And be blessed by our praise as we glory in your embrace. Somebody's sinus is healed. An infection in the lungs healed. A hip injury healed. A back problem healed. What did you feel? My, in, I started throwing up. <coughs> the tumor was in my left lung. That's the first healing I called. So there's a tumor being healed. And the tumor was in the left lung. And I just felt just fire in my body. And I, I was healed. Is the pain gone, lady? Yes. Come on. As we glory in, in your embrace. Your embrace oh. As your presence now fills 
this place oh, oh the glory the cancer is gone out of our body of your presence hey we all the pain is gone no pain where was it before my back and it was kind of hard to breathe breathe in now young lady and it was in your back. Yes. How bad was it in the back? It wasn't too bad tonight, but sometimes it, it's, it was unbearable. Pain is gone. It's gone. You can breathe. Wait, and the tumor. No, anything. The tumor is gone. The pain Glory is gone. Grace. Hey. At your presence. I'm down, guy. You called out sinus problem, sinus infection. Wait, brother, wait, go, take it. You called out sinus problems. Yeah. When you said God is healing, he said he felt the breath of fresh air go through him. He's completely healed tonight. Randy, we give you give reverence. You reverence. Diabetes and arthritis. Diabetes and arthritis, and the power went through her tonight. And it's just what is happening to you now, lady? Shayla Mons. I feel like I'm, I feel my feet was hurting me. I have diabetes for 17 years, and I my my blood sugar A1C. What happened tonight? I feel like my my feet are a little bit my my feet are lighter. I don't feel the pain anymore in my on under my on under my feet. I feel like God healed me. I need to do portion to do God. Huh? I need to do God's work. I need God to use me. He will. Bless him. Oh, the uh oh. Of your presence, we, we your temple. Give your reverence a fresh infilling of the Holy Ghost. And the people said, Amen. To your rest. Take your seats. And be blessed. This woman had five strokes. She could barely walk, couldn't move. Tonight she's healed by the power of God. The presence of God came on her. Come on, somebody give her. Marie, where's, uh, who's got it? We want to pray for the people watching. Well, that's them right there. Is that my phone or somebody else's phone? Come up on the platform. I want to pray for the people on Periscope. Oh. We give you reverence. So rise. Rise. To your to rest. rest. And be blessed. Now, what did you, what did you feel on your body? Like um, some chills or, or some warmth in my body. You felt chills and warmth. Warmth, yeah, like it had gone. Some of the pain had gone away. My, my bones were popping. Me. Jesus, every bed. Come here, Marie. Come here. There is a lot of people watching on Periscope. Stretch your hands towards them. Right here, that camera, right there. Prophet Brian, come with me. In the name, pray in, uh, out loud right now, all of you. In the name of Jesus, we both believe God for you. Be healed. Be healed. Be healed. In the name of Jesus, the Son of Almighty God, be made whole. As the power of God is flowing here, in this conference in Charlotte, receive your healing in Jesus' mighty name for his glory. Randy, what happened over here? This lady had degenerative discs in her back with a lot of pain. And she, had, she during worship, she started bending over. And the holy, holy, holy are you, Lord. Hey, Randy, 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 Randy. One more time. Degenerative discs. Is the pain back. gone, lady? Pain is in my back. The doc what 
Huh? The doctor had said that I had that. And I, I'd be standing up, but nobody know I was in pain, but I really was in pain. How bad? Really bad. Is it gone? Yes. Check it out. Holy, holy, holy are you, Lord. Pastor, it seems to be an anointing here for sinuses. Again, she had a sinus problem, and as soon as you said it, mucus and phlegm just start oh. coming out of her. She's healed tonight by the power of God. In the name of the Lord. Randy. The Redeemed. This man couldn't stand up because he had so much pain in his back. Couldn't stand up straight, and all the pain left tonight. You've had trouble with your ear also. You've had trouble. I know with your back. I know. You had trouble with your... You've had trouble with your ear also. Pain sometimes really hits hard. The Lord's healing your ear and everything else. So what was wrong with him again, Randy? Back pain. From what? I, I just woke up in the morning and uh, I discovered uh, you know, that I had uh, you know, back pain. For over, How bad? Over a month. How bad was it? Oh, terrible. Terrible. Yeah, nine, nine from, from ten. Bring that girl here. I'm not done with her. <laughs> Whoa. She's having a marvelous experience. Marvelous experience. Somebody shout hallelujah. Holy arthritis in the left knee. Now, usually people feel heat. She say her knee went ice cold. She yeah, was un sometimes, yeah. yeah, she was unable to bend it. Now she can completely bend her left knee. She's healed of arthritis. Move those legs, honey, up and down. Is the pain all gone? Every bit of it. Yes, thank you. How long have you had it for? Years. Uh, ten years. Ten years of arthritis? Yes, I had knee surgery when I was in my 30s. I'm in my 40s now. Don't tell nobody. You don't look it. <laughs> Thank you. The pain is all gone. To God be the praise. What happened there, Randy? This man had an operation. Help her, help her up, guys. Ooh, don't get that close to me. Lady, come here. Lady. Hey. <laughs> I see a son, I see a young man in your life, very bound and confused. Is that your son? Your first son. I see great bondage in his life. But now I speak in the name of Jesus. That bondage shall go. This man had back problems for two years as a result of radiation. All the pain left tonight. The elders. Uh -uh, don't touch your gentlemen. Very deep. <laughs> what do I see with your hip here? Huh? You had cancer. But now tonight, he, you, you, you were healed of what tonight? There was treatment going on with the doc, uh, before then with the radiation. But, but now tonight, what did God heal him of again? His back. Oh, back, back. Yeah, back face. But you were healed of cancer in the past. Yes, by where you prayed. No, the Lord healed you of that, of course. Yeah, 2013, January in Framingham. Touch. Praise God. I see this. Come here. You are Jesus. I see something with your chest here. You've had troubles with your chest area. 
But I don't know what, what did God do for her. She was healed of bone disease tonight. Uh, what bone? Where? All over her body. She had bone disease and pain, and all the pain left when you called it out. How bad was it? I feel like I'm in a, a cool blanket from head to toe. I feel like I'm just wrapped in a cool blanket. Right now? Right now. And since the time you said it. Well, it was before that, but blah, 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 blah. it's just continuous even now. Can you hear? Put your hands, pray in the Holy Ghost. Come on. You're holy, holy, holy are you, Lord? Holy, holy are you, Lord? Keep praying, saints. The elders. This woman had a lump on her hip. Right here, a lump. When you pray for her, it totally disappeared. Holy. Oops. You're holy, holy, holy. Are you, Lord? How long have you had the lump? about uh, eight weeks and I just told God about it I wouldn't tell my family or anything and it every time I would eat or drink it would extend out and just be in a lot of pain and I went on a fast and I said God I'm just gonna stand in faith that I'm gonna be healed of this and I kept reading my healing scriptures and tonight you said digestive and something going on and when I laid hands on it it went down Jesus 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 Randy, what happened to the lady? She had a torn meniscus in her knee, in her left knee. And the power What of what is that exactly? It's inside the knee. Ah. She had a torn ligament in the knee in the doctor. Lady, I feel such a marvelous anointing. The doctor or something, I didn't get that. It's okay. So heart murmur. She said she was sitting in service, literally feel like she was about to have a heart attack because her heart was in so much pain. When you begin to pray, she's the fire of God hit her heart and she's completely healed tonight. Oh. Maya. Solo Mohia. What are you feeling on you? I'm just. Describe it. I feel like pain is just making me shake. What? It's just making me shake. That's the Holy Ghost, honey. It's the Holy Spirit. Let's give him a mighty hand of praise, saints. What, what, what's happening on this side, Randy? Rando. Yes, sir. This lady had a blocked left ear since she was six years what old. Now? Her ear, her left ear was blocked and it would drain. And she, her, her ear popped open and she's beginning to hear clearly. She's 34 now, so it's been years and years and years since she was six. Which ear? Now lift your hands, all of you pray. You're Jesus, all glorious. Preparing us, your temple, born as living stones, where you're in from. Which one, which ear? As you rose. You feel heat right now on it. How, how, how much heat are you feeling? Did you just feel it just when? When did you begin feeling it? When did you start feeling that? Yeah, right now you're feeling a little more of it. Rise upon our praise. Let the hand that saw you raise. Clothe us. With your glory, 
cross by. Can you hear that? You can hear? I can hear. I can hear it. I can hear. I can hear it. Yes, I can hear it. Was it blocked? Was it blocked? Sorry? Was your ear blocked? Yes, it was blocked since I was six years old. Since you've been six, it was like blocked totally? Very, very low, very, very low audition. I could only hear a little bit, just a little bit from that ear. Say that again? I could only hear a very little bit from that ear. Okay. Now stand here and put your finger on this one. Real tight. This was the bad one. Yes, I can hear you. 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 So many people came forward to share their amazing and emotional testimonies about the goodness of God and His healing power that one program is not long enough for all of them. Don't miss This Is Your Day Tomorrow for more of the mighty miracles from Charlotte. I'm going to believe God with you today for your miracle, your healing, yes. and your deliverance. Jesus. With me is a mighty man of God, a great anointing on Him. Pastor Coy Barker and I go way back. Way back. Some of the greatest miracles I've seen were in I've his church seen. in Oklahoma City. But let's believe together right now Amen. for the people to be healed, Amen. and then you're going to give them another word yes. and yes. pray for their finances. Yes. Sweet Jesus, we give you oh, praise, God. Lord. Heal your people, Lord. Mm. They've seen your power today. That's so Heal your people. We rebuke that sickness. We rebuke that disease in the name of Jesus. Somebody, a growth on your, on your, on ne on your neck it, is Pastor. going down. That's Thank it. you, Lord. That's it. Yes, Jesus, a blind right eye is being mm. healed. Skin cancer, we rebuke Thank it you. in the name of Jesus. Thank Throat you, Jesus. cancer, somebody with cancer yes. on your vocal yes. cords, we rebuke Jesus it. Jesus' name. In Jesus' mighty name. A lady, arthritis, severe arthritis in the back, mm. lower back. Mm. Be healed in the name Lord, of Jesus. Lord. I see a lady, uh, Speak, man of God. very, very uh, strong and only mm. uh, that mm. you're, you're feeling on you, dear lady, for your healing, uh, mm. your lungs, your mm. lungs. Mm. Oh, dear Lord. Now, I'm getting a name. I never got that name before. Alberita. Yes, yes. You must be Hispanic. Yes. Spanish. You're, you're being you, healed Spirit. of your Holy lungs Spirit. in the name Jesus, of name. Jesus. The greatest miracle is salvation. Thank you, Father. If you don't know the Lord, just pray right now. Dear, yes. Jesus, Dear Jesus, I'm a sinner. I'm a sinner. Lord, come into my heart Lord, and save my soul. Save my soul. And wash me with your wash precious me. blood and make me, whole. make me whole. I give you my life give and I'll serve life. you for the rest of my days and forever. Amen. 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 Dear God, that anointing is still here. Like a cloud. I'm telling you, talk to the people. Let, let me and just, pray for them that the, yes. their finances would be healed and yes. they'd be delivered. yes. The, the Lord is, it, you know, I understand the Bible said in 1 Chronicles 12, if you know the season, you understand the times, then you know how to move. That's right. And I have heard from God. I understand the season. I understand your season. I'm here for you. I love this man. He opened this door for me to come here, but I'm, I'm going to speak to you. I'm here because God sent me on an assignment to your house. That's right. And here's the word of the Lord to you. In this Bible that I have spoken and preached around the world many times out of, for over four decades, I've seen every kind of miracle you can imagine, financially, spiritually, physically, from just simple steps of obedience. Now listen, this what God said to do right now is so simple and so profound till it's amazing to me. 50 in the Bible is a mountain number. It's a number that changes things. It talks about grace. It talks about favor. It talks, when you talk about 50, you're talking about jubilee. Jubilee in the scriptures means brokenness is healed, family members saved financial woes broken off of your life. Abundance comes to you. Here's what the Holy Spirit said. 
And I, we talked about it, Pastor Benny and I, and in agreement. It's very biblical. It's very biblical. That's right. And it's a God thing that is ready to happen for you. God said to give you an invitation to go to your phone right now, take your credit card, your bank card, dial that number, or go on the internet, go to that protected safe site, give to this ministry $50. I literally believe there's thousands of you that's going to get miracles so suddenly just by that simple step of faith. 50, liberty, 50, freedom, 50, household salvation, 50, favor. Somebody's been trying to get a contract signed. You need the favor of God. Right. I'm asking you to go right now. Dial that number right now. When you dial that number, you make a connection. God honors actions of faith. I know in my own life, when I've operated by faith, I moved at an instruction from a man or woman of God, my life was changed. Instantly things begin to happen. I am a living miracle right now of restoration physically, spiritually, financially, every part of my household. I am a living picture, photograph. If you go the the dictionary and you look up restoration, my picture is going to be there because <laughs> I am living that and whatever I have is coming into your life. God's going to release it into your life. I have seen the impossible. I have seen the, the supernatural. I've seen cancers disappear. I've seen the crippled limbs made whole. I've seen all kinds of phenomenal miracles happen. Cancer ripped out of the body mm. when doctors have said there's no hope. Simply by an act of faith. You know what I'm asking you to do? Jam the phone lines out right now as an act of faith. Step out of that comfort zone. Step into that arena. Put that seed in this moist, anointed, holy soil in the kingdom. I'm telling you, this is your God moment, and you cannot, you must not hesitate to go that phone. Can you pray for him right now? Yes. I, don't really I just on break you. the spirit of poverty. Amen, Lord. I Amen. come against that spirit of lack. I break that demonic stronghold, and I release abundance. I release health. Yes, I Lord. release family, miracles of salvation. I yes, cause Jesus. it to come in the name that's above every name. It is is done. Run to the in phone. Jesus go on, name. go on, go on, go on. Run to the phone and say, here's my $50. I need a miracle. Tell us what that miracle is. We'll believe God with you. We'll believe God to work quickly, suddenly Amen. in your life. But we love you. Thank you so much for obeying God. Thank you for letting me be here. Okay, I'll see you tomorrow. Another great program. Love you and keep calling. And remember, your miracle is running to your Yes, house. it is. Suddenly. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Jesus. Amen. His time of ministry at a conference conducted by Prophet Brian Carn in Charlotte, North Carolina. A powerful healing anointing fell upon the capacity audience, and dozens of men and women came forward to testify of a miraculous change in their physical condition. Today, these emotional and amazing testimonies continue, and as you watch the evidence of Jesus' healing power in Charlotte, release your faith in preparation for Pastor Benny's prayer for you later in the program. If you will believe, you will receive. Because this is your day for a miracle. Clothe us with your glory. Draw us by. Can you hear that? You can hear? I can hear. I can hear it. I can hear. I can hear it. Yes, I can hear it. Was it blocked? Was it blocked? Sorry? Was your ear blocked? Yes, it was blocked since I was six years old. Since you've been six, it was like blocked totally? Very, very low, very, very low audition. I could only hear a little bit, just a little bit from that ear. Say that again? I could only hear a very little bit from that ear. Okay. Now stand here and put your finger on this one. Real tight. This was the bad one. Yes, I can hear you. Yes, I can hear you. Yes. 
Yes, I can hear you. Yes, I can hear you. Oh, the glory of your presence. Two women right here, as a matter of fact, I think the other lady, both of them, sugar diabetes. They said when you called it, the power of God hit them. And tonight, they know they've been healed by the power of God. And lung disease got healed tonight. Accident. Her bones were cracked. But tonight, the power of God hit her. I don't what, know what, what that mean means. What cracked? In my, in my chest, when the airbag hit me, it like kind of severed my chest. And every time I bend or move or twist a different way, it hurts really bad. Like so what pushed. happened tonight? What happened tonight, it stopped. I felt the heat, and then I felt the cooling. And also in my feet, I had a problem as well. All gone? Yes. Holy, holy, holy. Holy are you, Lord. Are you, Lord. Bring her back. Holy. Whoa. What are you feeling on you, girl? Ooh, I can't explain it. Ooh, Jesus. Ooh, Jesus. Holy, this young man was healed of Crohn's disease. Crohn's disease. Paralysis on the left side. Lesions in the intestines. How do you know that? Um, I felt sharp pus. I felt warm in my stomach, and then I got it got real cold. Like, wait, what? What are you feeling on you now? Just shaking. Shake it. Feel that shaking on you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Can you tell a difference with your body? Yeah. You are Jesus. All glorious, preparing us. We rebuke it. Your temple, born as living stones, where you're enthroned. That young man, I can tell you, that I know that I know that I know that I know by the Spirit, he is totally healed. He was paralyzed on the left side, but now he's walking and completely healed. You are paralyzed. side of my body after praying for this press person was paralyzed uh, yes this side of this body was paralyzed my waist can't raise i can't bend much and my brain i can't even remember things so but tonight as you are this uh, thing is going on i can find that i can do a little bit uh, better than ever before. better than ever before he says Let's give the Lord a big shout of hallelujah. Holy, 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 holy are you, Lord. The eldest angels well. The redeem worship you now. Holy, 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 you Lord.
Lord, we give you all the glory. Lift your hands and thank him. Holy. Hey, brother, I'm going to release the anointing on this. You keep it on you for three days. You keep this on you for three days. And whoever you put it on will be healed in your home. You ready? I'm releasing it. You believe that the anointing. The, you, you believe that the anointing is going to rub on it. You sure? Holy. Holy, holy are you, Lord. Okay, what, what happened to her? Randy. She had tumors in her colon. She had operations on both knees. All the pain is gone from yeah. all of it tonight. So what did you feel go through you? Heat from the top of my head all the way down to my feet. As the heat went down, all the pain in my body left. All of the pain. As the heat went down, the pain left. And to Jesus, and only to Jesus, be the glory. Holy, holy, holy are you, Lord. What happened there? Her spine, I don't exactly know the definition of it, but since 2009, she's had a lot of pain in her spine. Bring her here. And couldn't bend over. And tonight, she was healed. Well, is the pain gone from you, dear? And what was wrong with your spine? It was, uh, I had got arthritis in it, and it's a spine, spine and bad notice. I've been having this since... What are you lifting her for? Hey. Bring her here. Ay, 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 ay. Can you hear the voice of heaven? Why you pick her up, brother? He deserves it. Lady, are you okay? I would tell God, I said, God, I said, I look at you all the time, and I said, God, I can't get to a bit in You say, God, but God, I know you're my healer. He's your healer, dear. God sent you here just for me. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Holy, holy, holy. You called out a jaw condition. She had TMJ. She's healed tonight. She also had two nodules on her throat. They're gone. Praise oh. God. My God. Elders and angels bow. Hey! The redeemed. Worship you now. Hold oh. up. Now, what did you feel go through you when God healed you? My Lord. I didn't feel anything. I just received whatever healing you wanted to give me. I didn't feel anything. But the jaws healed. Um, there was pain. There's no pain, but the nodules. I didn't claim cancer. I lost my health insurance um, yesterday, <laughs> and this one's all the way gone, and this one's just about all the way gone. And, I, and I'm a singer. I'm a praise and worshiper, and it used to hurt to swallow. Every better way. I just did that. She just felt something. Ready, Dean? Whoa. Worship you. Randall. Come again. Oh, yes. Holy. She had a chest infection for the last three and a half months. Came walking in, coughing, and she was healed tonight. I, I just sense something else with you. Do you, do, you, do, you, do you get severe headaches? If not you, there's somebody in your home. Where is she? Come here. She was actually in pain before... You came. Hurry up, With, baby. You got headaches, girl. Come here. Huh? As soon as we started getting ready to come here, she was like, my head is hurting, is hurting a lot. Not and sure. I was like, I'm still going. <laughs> come here. Be made whole in the name of Jesus. 
There it is. Totally whole. Stretch your hands, say totally whole. In the name of Jesus. I see that anointing all over that lady. She had a very bad chest problem. She said she oh was God. afraid to go to the doctor. She didn't know what it was, but her chest was hurting extremely bad. Is that right? Yeah, I didn't know whether it was my chest or my breast, but I've been having a pain for a long time, and I've had several tests done, Whoa, but they couldn't find nothing. But when you prayed, I felt a coolness in my body, and as I continued to stand down here in front of the altar, I could feel stuff moving in my chest. And as I was standing up here, I could continue to feel it moving in my chest, but the pain is gone that I was experiencing. Jesus, Savior. Oh. Bring that girl. What happened to you? She was in a car accident 30 years ago. Well, tonight when you were praying, the power of God touched her. And all the pain that she has been having in her chest for the last 13 years, it's all disappeared and gone tonight. And when did the accident happen? I was in a car accident in 2002, and the steering wheel impaled my chest, and I went to a specialist, and he said I had costochondritis, which mimicked a heart attack, and I kept having this pain, and I wouldn't tell anybody about it. I went another time, and I got x-rays done, and they couldn't find anything, but I still kept having the pain, and so tonight, I felt Jesus' three fingers touch my neck. And he said, I've healed you. You heard his voice say, I've healed you. Lord, we give you the praise. Lift your hands, say, Lord, we give you the praise. Oh. That is strong on her. Pick her up, gentlemen. What do you feel on you, lady? Oh, glory. Oh. Let's give the Lord Almighty a shout here, people. Yay. What are you feeling on you? Oh, glory. <laughs> it's like heaven. <laughs> See, they're having a spiritual experience. It's not just healing. Hey, they need it too. I'm going to believe God with you today for your healing and miracle. We've just entered, I believe, the greatest year uh, really ever in the body of Christ. I believe with you that God Almighty is about to intervene in your situation. He's about to perform miracles you've never seen before. Loved ones will be saved, bodies will be healed, and the glory of God manifested in your life. Get ready for it. Begin to thank Him for what He's about to do this year in 2016. All you watching me on Daystar, get ready. All you watching me on the other networks, get ready, TCT and on and on. Get ready for the greatest year we've ever known as believers. Precious Jesus, we come in faith. Come on, let's believe together. Lord, we come in faith believing that this is the greatest year of our lives as believers. Let your power descend. Let your glory be manifested and revealed in every life. And Lord, my God, I stretch my hands in faith, believing that everyone sick will be healed. Everyone oppressed will be set free. Every loved one will be born again and saved. We give you all the majesty, all the praise, and all the glory. Now, Lord, I believe with all my heart that my partner watching this program, every prayer in their life will be answered. Every need will be met in Jesus' sweet an awesome name we pray. Amen and amen. Get ready. It's going to be a mighty, mighty year. You know, I am just seeing the anointing of God in our meeting so strong lately. You've seen a part of it here today on the program. 
I'll be showing you more and more of it because I believe with all of my heart the Lord is going to do the incredible. Someone healed just a second ago of arthritis while I was speaking. Father, I rebuke that arthritis in the name of the Lord Jesus. I give you praise. I see somebody with a tumor on the lower part of your back, a growth. Oh, dear God, remove it in Jesus' sweet name. Wonderful Heavenly Father. I command that pain and problem and tumor to go. Yes, Lord. There's a, there's a man named Alan. Alan watching me. You've had trouble with your right leg, especially your circulation, a lot of swelling there. God is healing you, sir. Receive your healing in Jesus' name. There's a man with a heart a problem being healed. Receive your healing too. Jim is your name. Jim, receive your healing today for that heart. God is your great physician. The Lord is your healer. Receive that from his hand today. Just lift your hands and say, Lord, I receive my healing today. Just all of you, come on, who are sick in body. Just say, Lord, I receive my healing today. He said, I am the God that healeth thee. He's talking to you. I am the God that healeth thee. Receive it right now in his holy name. In Jesus' sweet name. Somebody with a neck brace. You've injured your neck in some accident. The Lord's healing you. Swelling in the right eye, just been healed. There's a girl named Gigi. That's what they call you, Gigi. I see something on your eye, on your right eye, swelling on your right eye. Receive his healing touch, Gigi, in the name of the Lord. Yes, Lord, I give you praise. I give you praise. Blessed Holy Spirit, touch your people. In Jesus' sweet name, I give you the praise. A lot of swelling in someone's, right in the back of your neck. Someone watching me. A lot of swelling in the back of your neck. Some kind of an infection there. Wonderful Lord, I give you the praise for this miracle right now. Wow. The lady just said, it can't be me. Because the doctor told you that that infection is, is, is going to be there for a while. So she said, it can't be me. Lady, there's a, there's a dog next to you on the couch a brown dog okay are you are you listening to me i'm talking to a lady with a brown dog sitting on your couch and there's a lot of swelling on the back of your neck my dear now please would you put your hand back there and pray with me so god can heal you all there is is the point of contact father as she places her hand on that Infection in the name of Jesus, I rebuke it. Remove the pain also, Lord, right now. In G the swelling will go down, Father, in Jesus' mighty and glorious name, right now. Three hours from now, we all gone. I repeat, three hours, not three months, not three years, three hours from now, we all gone. The swelling will be totally gone. You're going to start feeling something draining back there. Don't be afraid, okay? That's, that's the power of God. Someone, just one, yeah, thank you, Lord. There's a lady watching. Um, you're deaf in your right ear. Dear Jesus, I give you the praise, wow. You're, you're totally deaf in this one ear, partially deaf in your left ear. You also have cancer. I command that cancer to go and the deafness to go with it. In the name of Jesus, be made whole, my dear. Me, be made whole today. In Jesus' mighty name. You can hear me because you have a, a, a hearing aid on the other ear. And you can hear me somewhat. This one is totally deaf. But the Lord's healing you. <laughs> yep, you just felt it. You just felt the warmth. Take that hearing aid off, my dear. The Lord's healing you right now while I'm talking. And we rebuke the cancer in the name of the Lord Jesus, whom we love and serve. Lord, everyone right now calling on your name, heal your people. Deliver your people in Jesus' name. Amen. Wow. I'm telling you, I feel the anointing. I prayed over prayer cloth. Oh, goodness, just recently. The power of God was so strong when I prayed over them. I want to send you one free. 
I believe this is your year of liberty from disease. It's very, very, very biblical that the anointing can be transferred to a cloth. In the case of Paul the Apostle, in the name listen, the lady touched the hem of the Lord's garment and felt power. In the name well, because the anointing is transferred. In the name so call today, get your own prayer cloth. In the name Believe God, this is your hour. Your hour has come, and to Jesus be all the praise. I'll see you tomorrow. Keep watching and tell people, of course, I'm on Daystar every day. Bye-bye. Pastor Benny Hinn is taking the gospel to the nations and ministering to you through social media. Like him on Facebook, follow him on Twitter and Periscope, and subscribe to the ministry YouTube channel today. It's a lot of Sharon's. Yeah, but it's only one Sharon Blakely. Come to me. I see in the realm of the spirit that the enemy plans for February the 18th to cause an attack to hit your body. I'm looking at a street called Hickory Court. Hickory, is that where you live? Okay. And I'm looking at the house number two. What's your address? Two Hickory Court. Lift your hands. And I see a plan of the enemy at that home to cause a sickness to hit you on the 18th of February. But because you came here tonight, the plan of the enemy has been disrupted. Hey! In a time like this, I tell you what's on everybody's mind, fear is gripping everybody's heart. You know, with what's going on in our country and disease is spreading everywhere. I mean, all over, people are afraid of this thing and afraid of Ebola, afraid of sickness and cancers and all kind of things. I need to encourage you and I need to let you know that Psalm 91 declares, he that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I was talking to some people the other day, and they said, well, prophet, you need to be careful going here and going there. I'm not afraid. Second Timothy 1 and 7 declares that he's not given me a spirit of fear, but love, power, and a sound mind. Psalm 27 declares that he's my light and he's my salvation. Whom shall I fear? He's the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? When the wicked, even my enemies and my foes, came upon me to eat of my flesh, they stumbled and they fell. I need to encourage you today. In a time like this, I don't want you to be alarmed. I don't want you concerned about what you're seeing on the news. I mean, thank God for the news, and we thank God for all the reports they give us. But I need you to understand that he that keepeth Israel shall neither slumber nor sleep. You serve a God who protects you, who's mindful of you, who looks out for you, who cares for you. And I need to encourage somebody. Stop. Stop. Don't operate in fear. With all these murders going on and people are being killed and people's children are dying, the Spirit of God spoke something to me, something that I've done personally for every person in my family. They don't know it, but I've sold it for my mother. I've sold it for my father. I've sold it for my sister. I've sold it for my niece and my nephew. I've sold it for my family members. You know what I've done? I've sold a $91 seed. It is a seed for divine protection. A seed that he would protect my family. A seed that no matter what comes, a thousand shall fall at one side, ten thousand at my right hand, but no evil shall befall me. Neither shall any plague come nigh my dwelling, for he shall give his angels charge over me. You know what that means? That means God gave the angels custody over you. That means that if the angel it don't, don't do what he's supposed to do, if it, it, he, he's your guardian. It's like a legal guardian. That's what the angel is. He's your legal guardian. And he cannot go back to God and say he didn't take care of you. This seed of $91 is going to release protection in your house. Let me help you. There, there, there's a clip right there that they just showed you of that woman who I prayed for, where sickness was about to hit her house.
I believe I told it was on Hickory Street, right there at our house. But God sent an angel to make sure destruction did not hit our house. I want you under this anointing while it's flowing, without hesitating, without looking around, dial that number on the screen. You're not sowing for money. You're not sowing for riches, but you're sowing a seed for his divine protection that he might protect your children, that none of your children would die in a school shooting, that none of your family would be diseased with Ebola because he was wounded for your transgressions, bruised for your iniquities. The chastisement of your peace was upon his shoulders, and with his stripes you were healed. While the anointing is flowing, get that $91 seed in your hand. It's for your protection. Your life will never be the same. Your family and your children will be taken care of. Sow that seed in faith today for your family's protection. 